But for starters, we're gonna head downtown. There's a photo exhibit going on. We sent our very own Aperna Moan downtown to check it out. Take a look. Hi, we're here at the Govinda Gallery in Georgetown, D.C. at the most recent opening of the exhibition from Glenny e. Friedman's Photography. Friedman's work gained much attention as one of the most compelling records of early skateboarding, punk, and hip-hop music and photography together. Let's take a look. Throughout his career, Friedman has shot over 100 album covers and photographed countless bands. You know, punk rock was just an extension of skateboarding, and it's like a lot of my friends who skated were in bands, and so I started taking pictures of them, or bands that I liked, bands that were inspiring me that I wanted other people to know about. And so I started shooting pictures of all the bands that I loved, you know, try to get them in the magazines, and that's how that started. We were all just friends, you know, they had, you know, the guys in, actually in the bands in D.C. knew my work from Skateboarder Magazine. They were big skaters, you know, so they had kind of some respect for me already for what I had done with that stuff, and... You know, they were real happy to meet me, and I was happy to meet them because I appreciated their work. I really liked what Minor Threat was doing, and Ian and his brother, and all the people down here. And I met them actually in New York at a Bad Brains show. There's one in there which is the cover of our Sal uh, Minor Threat's Salad Day single, which is actually the porch of my house. So it has a certain kind of like sentimental value to me. It's a really beautiful photo, I think. Wait, I wait, I wait, I wait. For 25 years, Govinda Gallery has been a unique place to see modern art about modern music. But I love rock and roll, and um, I saw that there was a gap there, that no one was giving any respect to the great photography that's been made over the last 20, 30 years, documenting rock and roll music and the blues. And uh, I decided I was going to get into that and champion that genre, as it were. Don't, don't. I think it might be pretty specific to D.C., but I'm, I'm not aware of other cities, but I'm pretty proud of the fact that uh, the D.C. art scene, there's filmmakers and there's photographers and there's musicians and writers, and they all sort of, uh, they have the thing supporting each other. And, and uh, I think Govinda's become part of that, too, with the photo shows that they have here, and it's, it's a cool thing. As the scene exploded in Washington and nationwide, Glenn Friedman was there. Today, 20 years later, the new generation experiencing his works for the first time find them as provocative and relevant as ever. For Megahertz, I'm Opera Mohan. <laughs>